When we get that trailer, do you guys want to break down? Yes or no? We would be honored if you would join us. Hey guys, what's going on? So finally, The Last Jedi is at its almost sixth week of being in theaters where it quietly leaves and begins the transition into Blu-ray with all that extra deleted scene footage that we've heard so much about. Now, with Han Solo coming May 25th, I'm sure many of you, like myself, are thinking, where's the trailer at? At least a teaser or something. I mean, with The Last Jedi, we got like a million different trailers eight months out from the film. So what's the difference here? Well, we finally have confirmation from many news sources that it will be this Monday, February 5th, on Good Morning America at 6.45 a.m. And of course, the official Star Wars YouTube channel will put it up as well. So you can just check for that too, and I will throw it up here as well. I don't know about you guys, but I'm looking forward to this one. I know no one can replace Harrison as Solo, but I think that this guy hopefully will do it right. And from what I've seen with director Ron Howard, along with the emails I've received from crewmen who worked with him on set, he seems to definitely know what he's doing and definitely took it seriously. I think that this movie will bring much more excitement than Rogue One even, which was a fantastic film, because now, Finally, we get to focus on characters we all grew up with, regardless of age. The promise of Darth Vader and Boba Fett in the film are even more exciting to think about. That right there has my ticket. Imagine seeing a dynamic duo type of buddy system where Vader and Boba carry out missions together, hunting down Solo and the Falcon, and leading us into A New Hope, if it even goes that far, that is. I can't wait to see the Spice Mines and the Emperor alluded or at least mentioned, and of course, Tarkin, which has been revealed in a list of all the toys being made for the film. So I hope we can expect him too. Now I'm gonna go out on a really distant limb here and say that we could even see Darth Maul and Obi-Wan. At the end of the day, the possibilities are endless for what they can do. Disney has taken note of the massive backlash The Last Jedi has given them by the fans, and it shows in their ticket sales, with just about two-thirds that of The Force Awakens. And that was when this film was supposed to be super crazy and the most shocking, and how they all told us it would be more shocking than The Empire Strikes Back. So perhaps they'll finally start to give us the characters that we want and the action sequences we so desire. It would definitely be a smart move, especially for a film centered around Solo, which provides so much flexibility to segue into other main characters as well, and what they'd be doing at this time. Now there are some hints as to us going back to the prequels in this film and seeing the old pod race arena. That would be pretty sweet too, and maybe even Anakin's home. It makes me wonder if we'll see Watto again. I wonder what that guy's up to. You can expect the trailer to be up on the channel as well, and I'll definitely be making a breakdown for it if you guys like. Thank you for watching, everyone. Let me know what you're excited to see from this film, and I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always. Now, fulfill your destiny.